Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I was away for a while. I have not uploaded a video uh, since three weeks or something. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Sky Atmosphere system inside Unreal Engine 5. So before I start the video, again a huge shout out to all the people who support the channel on Patreon. Thank you so much for your support. Okay, so first you need to open up Unreal Engine 5. So you can create any project you like. I'm going to go with the blank project. You can name your project, whatever you like. Make sure the ray tracing and shader content is turned off. And just create your project. So there we go, we have created our project. So let's delete all of this. So select everything, press the delete key and delete all of those because we are going to start from scratch. Just save this level. Okay, so now let's start by adding in some lights. So to create the sun, we are going to add a directional lamp. Make sure that direction light is set to movable. You need to set all the lighting elements to movable because we are going to use uh, lumen and we are going to use dynamic uh, lighting. So make sure that you do that. After that, you can go to create panel under the lights and you can create a skylight as well. So the skylight will give you uh, indirect lighting. So it's responsible for indirect lighting. Change that to movable as well and turn on real time capture. After that, you can see that Unreal is telling us to add a sky atmosphere. So let's just go into visual effects and let's add a sky atmosphere. So as you can see, nothing has changed in the scene. So to activate this sky atmosphere, you need to link the direction lamp with the sky atmosphere. So select the direction light and turn on atmospheric sun. So make sure that this is turned on. This will tell Unreal to use our direction light as the sunlight. There are a lot of options here as well. So you can turn those on if you want. Those are for cloud shadows and stuff. But we're going to look at these options later when we add a volumetric clouds. So now to rotate the sun, simply go to the rotation tool and you can rotate your sun. There's another way to move the sunlight. So you can press Ctrl L and after that you can move your mouse to rotate the sun. So this is a very handy shortcut to like rotate the sun lamp. And you can easily position the sun to get different lighting uh, scenarios. Now let's fix the ground. So currently the ground is totally black. So let's fix that. To fix that you can go to the create panel and under the visual effects you can add an exponential height fog. There we go, we have fixed the ground. But now our scene is looking quite blown out like uh, we are not getting our lighting properly. So change the fog interscattering color to black and change the directional interscattering color to black as well. You can also turn on volumetric fog for some additional realism. And still our scene is not there quite yet. There's a harsh transition uh, between the sky and the ground. So we need to fix that. To fix that, go to your project settings, simply search for fog and make sure that you turn on support sky atmosphere affecting height. So this will make sure that the sky atmosphere and the exponential fog all work together. You will need to restart the editor. So just restart the editor. So I've restarted the editor and now we need to open up our level. So just open your level. So now what is happening is the exponential height fog is changing its color based on the sun and based on the sky atmosphere. So this looks pretty good. Now let's add some clouds in the scene. So under the visual effects, let's add a volumetric cloud object. And now as you can see, these clouds look totally fake. Like this doesn't look good. And this is happening because of the cloud material. So if you are an advanced user, uh, which I'm hoping that you are not because you are watching this video, but if you know about materials and shaders, you can modify this cloud material. Uh, but I'm going to show you another way, uh, which is an easier way. And that is to use cloud presets. 
So Unreal Engine has some cloud materials ready for you to use. So let me show you how to access those materials. So what you can do is you can go to edit plugins and just search for the volumetrics plugin. There we go. Make sure that this is enabled. You will also need to restart the editor after enabling that. After restarting the editor, you can go to settings in the content browser and you can turn on show engine content and we get a couple of folders there. Also turn on show plugin content and now you can see all the folders of all the different plugins. So go down until you find the volume matrix content under the sky folder. Uh, go to the materials folder. And here you can see that we have a lot of cloud material presets to just show you. I'm going to use the second material right here. So just select that. And in the volumetric cloud in the material, you can just click this arrow button. And there we go. We have changed the cloud material. So you have around 10, 15 materials that you can use. And yeah, this, these are pretty cool. You can also modify them if you like. So as you can see, the sky atmosphere system inside UE5 is very powerful. Now let's select the volumetric cloud. And you can also change the layer settings. So the layer bottom and the layer height. Back in the direction lamp, you can turn on light shafts. So you can turn on occlusion light shafts and bloom light shafts. So yeah, that's it guys. That's pretty much it. So you can totally expand on this and this will really help you to create some uh, good looking lighting scenarios. So yeah, I hope you learned something in this video. If you did, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. That's it. I'm going to see you in the next video.